Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can screen record your desktop using PowerPoint. So if you want to screen record small tasks, for example, you want to show something uh, on the screen of your uh, Windows operating system or your Mac operating system, there is an option in uh, PowerPoint which allows you to screen record your desktop. So I will not recommend uh, you uh, to use this screen recorder for the gaming or other purposes, but for simple uh, tasks, it's okay. So I'm going to search for PowerPoint and then I'm going to open the PowerPoint. And now I'm going to just click on the blank presentation. Now on this uh, window, I'm going to just click on the insert button. And the last option here is the screen recording option. So just click on this screen recording option and then it's going to start uh, your screen recording and it's going to allow you to screen record your desktop. So let me just click on screen recording, which is going to minimize my uh, PowerPoint app and it's going to show me this kind of window with all these options. So you can choose if you want to add the audio in your screen recording. Also, you can choose if you want to add the pointer. So if you want to record the pointer, you can select this option. And if you want to record the audio also, you can select this option. Once you are ready, you can select the area which you want to record. So let's say I will just select all the screen area. So from top to the bottom, I want to record everything. And now once you do that, you can just uh, click on this record button or you can press Windows shift and R key which is going to uh, start your recording by pressing all these key combinations. So I'm going to press Windows shift and R key which is going to give me this option and now the screen recording has been started. So you can see uh, this time of screen recording and when you just uh, hover over your mouse here to uh, the other places you can see uh, that option from the top is gone. So now you can capture all your screen. Now, if you are done, you can once again go to the top. So you can hover over at the top and you will be able to see all these options. So in order to stop, you can just uh, press Windows Shift and Q key. So if you don't want to just uh, show this kind of window to the viewers, you can just uh, simply press Windows shift and Q key in order to stop your presentation. Now let's uh, do something. So I'm going to uh, start my Word app and then I'm going to just open some kind of uh, Word application. And now I will uh, just close or minimize this Word application. Once I'm done with my uh, screen recording, now I can just uh, stop my screen recording by pressing, as I said, Windows Shift and Q key, which is going to stop my screen recording. And you can see my screen recording is now uh, uh, inserted into this PowerPoint app. So from here, I can play my screen recording. So I'm hearing my voice also because I have selected this audio option also, right? Now, once your uh, recording is in your PowerPoint app, you can select your recording and then click on format here and you have all these options to format your uh, recording. So for example, I have this uh, corrections here. I can choose any of uh, these corrections. So you can see when I uh, just choose the brightness uh, plus 40%, then uh, my video is much brighter. So here I can choose uh, the brightness and contrast from here. Also, I can choose the color. So by default, the color is this one and I can choose uh, all these colors from these options, right? So let's say I want this color or uh, I will just leave everything as default and I will choose the original color of the recordings. Also, you can choose the poster of your video. So poster is like a thumbnail of your video so you can uh, just uh, add an image so i'm going to just click on image from file and then i'm going to click on from a file and then i can choose any image uh, of my choice so let me uh, just choose uh, this image 
and this will be uh, the poster of my video for example and when i play this video then my video plays normally with the screen recording also i have the option to reset all the design so I, when i click on reset it's going to reset uh, the design also i have all these uh, video style options so you can see uh, when i uh, click on this there is the border so let me just click on this and you can see this uh, fine border is added to the, the video when i uh, click on the other options uh, you can see small effects are added around my video so from here you can uh, choose uh, the video style in which you want to present your video and then also you have the video shape so from here you can even choose the shape in which you want to present your video so for example i want to present my video in the form of uh, let's say circle so the video will be uh, played inside this kind of circle right so you can see my video is playing inside uh, this uh, circle shape so i will uh, just leave it as default which is the rectangle shape and then at the last i have the option to crop my video so let's say i want to just show uh, some part of my screen recording i have the option to uh, crop my video also so now uh, in order to save your video you have two options you can uh, save the whole presentation so you can just click on file save as and then you can save your presentation anywhere also you have the option to save your video only in the form of mp4 or any other format so let's say i just want to save my uh, video in the mp4 format for that what i can do i can just click on file here and then click on export and then i have this option to uh, create a video so i will just select create a video and from here i can choose uh, the quality of the video by default it's a full hd i can also select ultra hd or hd or standard so i will leave it as uh, full hd which is uh, 1080p which is fine for me also you have this option don't use recorded timings and narrations so uh, you can uh, also preview this and if you uh, want to do this you have the option to do that also once you are happy with your uh, choices you can just click on create video and then you can save your uh, presentation at your desired location so you can change the name of your recording for example i will just write hello dot mp4 here you can also uh, choose uh, the other format which is windows media video uh, format which is called dot wmv format so you have the wmv format or mp4 format and then once you have given the name and chosen your video format i can click on save which is going to save my video so you can see this progress bar here so it's going to create this hello.mp4 uh, when this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. So just wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark. So now my video is exported. So I'm going to minimize this window. And you can see uh, this hello.mp4 is now uh, fully exported. And now I can uh, start uh, this video. So I will just double click on it and you can see uh, this screen recording is now playing. So in this way, you can uh, screen record your desktop using your PowerPoint app. So as I said, for uh, the game recording or other advanced uh, screen recording, you can use some other uh, screen recorder, for example, OBS. I'm going to put the link of that video which I created about OBS. So if you are thinking about screen recording uh, your gameplay or some uh, advanced tasks, then it's better to use uh, the other advanced applications. But for simple screen recording, uh, you can use this uh, PowerPoint also. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.